morning. Morning. Daytime substitute needed for inner city high school. Hey, if it pays the bills, it's worth the thrills, I say. Honey, why don't you go for something that pays a little more? Teacher's jobs don't pay that much. We gotta go with what we got now. Oh, what did your mother say about the job at the bank? I called her and she hasn't called me back yet. You already know how stubborn she is. Oh. Well, believe me, if there were another option, I would definitely take it. And by the way, I, I don't know how you put up with that woman. And God knows how your father puts up with that insane woman. Stop, it's your mother-in-law. It's your mom, too. Oh, yeah, my mom, too. should have thought about that before you married me. I kind of agree with you on that. Hello? Hey, John. How are you, buddy? Great. What's the good news? Uh huh. Oh, yes, definitely. Yeah, I'm free. Free when? Definitely, man. Uh, listen, will you be there tonight? All right, not a problem, man. Tonight? Thanks, man. Appreciate it very much, Sean. Take care, bud. Later. Bye. Emma, put on your best dress. We're going to a party. A party? Uh-huh. Whose party? When? What? This, uh, tonight, this lady named Madam, Madam something, uh, Madam Coulier. She's the head of the Department of Education, and she throws events like this every now and then so she can meet new teachers, and, well, we're going to one of these tonight. Oh, man, this is great and all, but there's a problem with that. A problem? Oh, God, it's not your mother, is it? Uh, no, it's not her. It just, I don't have anything to wear. I got some old dresses and some old shoes, but babe, I don't want anyone to. I don't want everyone to know yeah. that we're broke. It doesn't matter. Just call your friends or something. Call uh, what's your name, mom? Your friend, the one who gave you rent money that one time. What's your name? Yeah, Veronica. Veronica. She has nice things. I mean, you could probably borrow something from her. Give her a call. Okay. See what she says. All right. I'm not kidding, Emma. This is a great opportunity for me, all right? All right. Will you do that? All right, I'll do my best. All right, love you. All right, love you too. Hey, Veronica, it's Emma. I have a favor I need to ask. I really hope you get this job. I'm so, so tired of living this way. I really need to be able to afford better things. I understand. And believe me, I mean, I have a good feeling that I'm going to get this job, and hopefully I will. We're not living the life of the rich and famous just yet, but if I get the job, we'll at least get a new car. All right? It's a really nice necklace you're wearing. Thanks. It's really beautiful, nice. actually. Did Veronica lend that to you? Yeah, she did. It must be worth a lot. It's heavy. I only asked her for a few things, too, and she hooked it up with that. Yeah. Tell me about it. If we sold that thing, we probably wouldn't have to work for like a year. Oh, well, this looks like the place. All right, babe, I think we're here. Mm -hmm.
school day? Yes. Very nice to meet you, Patrick. Nice to it's meet my you as well. And nice to meet you, Principal Patrick, Smith. Patrick, very nice to meet you. That is a beautiful necklace. That would be marvelous. Thank you for noticing. Marvelous. Yes, it's part of my private collection. Well, we must talk about that sometime. And Patrick, obviously someone who treats his wife so well, such beautiful things. You're someone that we can use in our department. So consider yourself part of our family. I want to see you Monday morning at 9 a.m. Thank you very much, ma'am. It's honestly quite welcome. a pleasure. Appreciate it very much. You're very welcome. Thank you. It was wonderful to Absolutely. meet you. Absolutely. Thank you. Please enjoy yourself. Meet everyone from the department. Everyone's here. Oh, no. Thanks for the party. It's a lovely event. Thank you. Baby did a great job in there. Oh, you did a great job in there. I knew you could do it. You're the man. Oh, thank you. Did you see the way they like? Oh, just marveled at you. Oh, your necklace is marvelous. It's fabulous. I... Well, this is what it's all about. Oh yeah. We're part of the elite now. We need to get used to this. <laughs> I know. I right. Can. I need a break. My shoes are killing me. All right, take them off and we'll get the car. All right. God. Oh, fuck. I can't find the necklace. What do you mean you can't find the necklace? I don't know where it went. I... Emma, you just had the necklace. I... Jesus I Christ. It, Are you know? serious? The clasp was bad. Oh, my God. Emma, where's the necklace? Not on me. Emma. I, I don't know. I, I, I had it and. Did you I lose the necklace? I think I did. Listen to oh me. Did you lose Lord, the necklace? I, I did. I can't find it. Anywhere. God damn it, Emma. What the hell are we supposed to do now? I don't know. You just had it a second ago. You were wearing it inside, for God's sake. People oh, were just, staring I at your just, damn necklace. I just noticed the necklace that it was, gone. was the life of the party, for God's sake. I just noticed that it was gone when I sat here. Okay, you know what? I can deal with this. Let's just go home. We'll figure it out tomorrow morning, okay? Fine. Enough of this God. shit already. Push me. Thank you. Emma, honey, look. Can you please stop pacing around and please call Veronica? Honey, I can't do that. If I tell her that I lost it, she's gonna think that I sold it. And we she kept the won't. money. Yeah, baby, she knows how tight we are with money. See, that's another thing right there, Emma. Why do you have to tell everybody about her financial situation? You're telling people that I'm working all these different jobs, that I'm working odd jobs just to make ends meet. Why do you have to do that? I know it's tough, but it doesn't mean you have to tell the entire world. God. Honey, calm down. It, it'll be okay. We'll just go to the jeweler and get another one. Yeah, whatever. Alright, I'll go get ready. <laughs>